peace and love, everyone. I am Allah Tazab and Yasha Allah El, also known as Judah's son, also known as the marketing more for Moorish nationality card services, a religious documentation provider. I'd like to welcome you guys to our official reestablished YouTube channel reason why we say reestablished is because the original Morris nationality card services YouTube channel which had been around for about four years was unfortunately terminated now we don't know what for uh, honestly we believe it is for reasons of constant flagging with a mixture of um, discrimination uh, the reason why we are reestablishing this particular channel is because we see for some reason, even though that the original Moorish Nationality Card Services YouTube channel was terminated, there are plenty of channels on YouTube with information and content based around the Moorish National Identification Card, selling the Moorish National Identification Card, marketing, promoting, and telling you exactly where to get the Moorish National Identification Card. Not only that, with, with Moorish Nationality Card Services being a religious documentation provider, we also are aware of the fact of a company by the name of Universal Life Church, or should I say organization, Universal Life Church, who also issues out religious documentation and has a YouTube channel. So... In concert with there still being quite a few channels that are producing content or still allowed to have videos up with content solely based around the Moorish National Identification Card, allowing to get a bunch of streams, um, possibly even allowing to being allowed to monetize those videos and get paid money for that. In concert with Universal Life Church also having a YouTube channel issuing out religious documents and things of that nature, it's only right that we reestablish the Moorish Nationality Card Services official YouTube channel and utilize YouTube for the benefits that it offers, which it is, currently is one of the greatest marketing and promotional tools that you can find available online for free. So we will be exercising and utilizing our First Amendment right guaranteed to us in the, in the American Constitution. And since we are headquartered in the Ohio State Republic, well, we, we will also be exercising our Article 8, Section 3, Ohio Constitution um, 802, Constitution of 1802 for Ohio. We'll be exercising that right as well, where it specifically says that all men have a natural and indefeasible right to worship almighty God according to the dictates of conscience that no human authority can in any case whatever control or interfere with the rights of conscience that no man shall be compelled to attend erect or support any place of worship or to maintain any ministry against his consent and that no preference shall ever be given by law to any religious society or mode of worship and no religious test shall be required as a qualification to any office of trust or profit but religion morality and knowledge being essentially necessary to good government and the happiness of mankind schools and the means of instructions shall forever be encouraged by legislative provision not inconsistent with the rights of conscience so the rights of conscience reign supreme now why are we focusing on that with us being a uh a, a, an arm of a religious organization that offers religious documentation services to Moors all over the world. We are unfortunately or have been and are currently being branded as anti-government, sovereign citizen, uh, uh, 
paper terrorists, domestic terrorists, put on all these crazy lists, things of this nature. Um, we have to make it clear that with things like that happening, that our identity as Moors is attached to our religious faith and our rights of conscience. It goes against our religious faith and our rights of conscience to carry names that delude to principles of slavery. Names such as Negro, Colored, Black, African American, Jones, Johnson, Williams, Smith, Harrison, Henderson, Smythe, Jameson. We can keep going on. That is in violation of a commandment that was handed down to us by the divine creator of all that says we are to honor our foremothers and forefathers so that our days on the land may be long. Therefore, it only makes sense that we step away from principles that delude to slavery. That is the surnames that have been passed along to us via slavery, the culture that has been passed along to us via slavery, the religious practice and tenets that have been passed along to us via slavery, the diet, the food, the way we think, all the things that have been passed along to us in our generations via slavery, it is against our religious tenets, practice, beliefs, and our rights of conscience to continue to live according to those principles which are sins, transgression of divine law, natural law. It does not make sense for the cat to bark. It does not make sense for the pit bull to meow. So we want to make a clear before anyone comes to this particular channel and tries to brand us and use uh, trigger words that are being used by European Christian media outlets to attack us, to violate our human rights and deny us which something that is already guaranteed to us. We want to make it clear that we're not falling under the umbrellas of those terms. We are not anti-government, for if we were, we would not be speaking about the American Constitution and the State Republic Constitution. We are not sovereign citizens, for what we are doing is to bring us into, consti into the constitution fo constitutional fold of government so that we can actually be true citizens and better citizens of the de jure government body has nothing to do with trying to get over and saying that the law does not apply to us because de jure true law does apply to us. All right. So let's go on. Uh, Morse Nationality Card Services has been in business, I want to say, since around late 2012, 2013. And business got to booming around 2014. So we have been issuing out nationality cards to Moors for uh, about six, seven years. We have been doing this. All right. So everything is legit. Everything is up to standard with the law. We are not telling anyone to do anything to violate the law. So as again, you can see here, we have the Universal Life Church um, dot org website to where they sell religious documents that are respected by the law. What do we mean by that? When they issue out documents such as ordination documents to uh, ordain someone as a minister, that person purchases the ordination package from here with a good standing letter that they then go to their secretary of state or depending how the government is set up in the state where they domicile, they go to that um, licensing authority with the documents that they've purchased from Universal Life Church and then they purchase the license from that licensing authority in order to be a licensed minister. So we're very similar, but we're different in some ways. One thing we will never do is have our ministers be licensed. It's just as simple as that. That is a First Amendment right. So we want to make that clear. All right. So as you can see here as well. At 
Moorish Nationality Card Services, which is a religious documentation service provider, we also have religious documents. So as I again, I said, the identity of the Moors is indeed attached to their religion. Now, with that being said, let's go over here. With that being attached to the religion, res judicata, stares stare deceased stare decisis something that has already been decided upon in the court of law universal life church incorporated versus united states 372 f dot sub dot seven seven ed california 1974 this is case law it goes on to say that neither this court nor any branch of this government will consider the merits or fallacies of a religion nor will the court compare the beliefs, dogmas, and practices of a newly organized religion with those of an older, more established religion, nor will the court praise or condemn a religion, however excellent or fanatical or preposterous it may seem. Were the court to do so, it would impinge upon the guarantee of the First Amendment and create a state church. So what that's saying is, if the courts, if the judges cannot step in and make comments and decisions about how false a religion may be or how real a religion may be or comparing it to another religious belief in order to give this certain religious uh, religious practice weight or take the weight from it, it can't be done which means that those who are viewers that have an issue with what we are doing at Moorish Nationality Card Services, you as well cannot have that type of say-so and play those type of games and try to use certain words to say that our religion is something to be pointed at and laughed at and um, ridiculed. These are rights that are guaranteed to us by the American constitutions and the state state republic constitutions that are in pursuance thereof it is as simple as that so we just wanted to let you guys know what we at moorish nationality card services are about um what you can do here to stay up to date with us which we would suggest that you do is when you are at this channel please make sure that you come on over here and go to our social media uh locations like subscribe follow us and be sure to come to our other channel um, on the put it out there tv.com website just in case we happen to get taken down again for some type of weird anomaly while everyone else who is speaking on the same subject matter is allowed to keep their videos you'll be able to still stay up to date with what we have going on and we'll be able to keep the ball rolling just as simple as that again this is a lot to zavin yasha ala l also known as Judas Sun, also known as the Marketing More for Moorish Nationality Card Services. We appreciate you allowing us to take up so much of your very valuable time. Please make sure that you subscribe to this channel so that you can stay up to date with what we have going on because we have plenty more videos coming for you. All right, I'm up out of here. Peace and love.